All right, guys, let's get this meeting started. First off, I wanna say thank you all for coming today. And like you know it is, Polo Wednesdays. Everybody gets to wear their polo. It's pretty casual today. So first, I wanted to get into discussing our new marketing campaign. It won't be too long, it'll be just only a couple minutes. But I just wanted to come up, or I just wanted to mention an idea I had, really. So when I was thinking about my time in college, I was thinking about this idea that we discussed in class called instrumental conditioning. And I was thinking about how that can actually be used for the museum today. And how companies are actually using it right now, it's really helping them. So I can see us doing it and helping gain more traffic in your our museum. So first off, I want to start off with Starbucks. Who here goes to Starbucks? Jeff. Thank <laughs> you. Classic Jeff. Anyways, so basically Starbucks has this point system. So whenever you get a drink, you get points. And that point system can accumulate to eventually you get a free drink or a free food. I was thinking, what if we did that for the university? Take that same concept but have this point system for every time you go. So every time you check in, for example, you get a certain amount of points. And once you accumulate enough points, you can use those to maybe get a gift at the gift shop or go through a free exhibit or something. If we did this, I think that would positively reinforce our customers to basically wanting to keep going to the uh, museum. And that can help us get more customers. Maybe even more people want to join figuring out that we can get them into some maybe some free stuff. This will help positively reinforce. Maybe we can even make some deals with schools who want to go on field trips and then they can accumulate more points. I'm thinking that this will help make more customers want to keep going so they can potentially buy those gifts and we can get more people to come in to the museum. Now, this isn't the only idea I was thinking of. The next idea I was thinking of was lower costs depending on time. So basically, let's go by this. Let's say we have this, we have our times where we just have no one coming in. So what if we lower the cost at those times? That way we can reinforce our help, get more people to come in because it's lower costs. That way we're positively reinforcing them to go into the museum at the times at our low times. Then we can actually get more traffic going. And then on regular times, we just have our, like our busiest hours, we just have our regular prices. But I think at that time, that would get more traffic going in on the times where we're not as busy. I think if we even apply both of these, we can just help get more people going to the university or have, I mean, for the museum, but have more incentive to go to the museum. So, but that was the main things I wanted to talk about, guys. Um, that's all I have to discuss for you today, but have a good rest of your day, guys. See ya.